I'm Jeff Ranke, Editorial Director of Industrial Equipment News, and we're here at Haas Automation in Oxnard, California to talk with the iconic machine builder and learn how their high quality, high value machines are still made in America. When most people think about the origins of Haas Automation, they go back to 1988 and the rollout of the VF1 Vertical Machining Center that forever changed the face of small and medium-sized job shops throughout the U.S. and around the world. More than the performance capabilities of the VF1, however, was the fact that a U.S. manufacturer had been able to build a machining center that sold for under $50,000. It wouldn't be the first bold move for the company or its iconic founder, Gene Haas. So that was a, a dream of Gene's to build a vertical machining center and expand into CNC products. Um, well before that 1988 introduction, he began development on the uh, vertical machining center, the VF1. And uh, we uh, uh, put a lot of effort into designing a, the right product, um, a st well-built, sturdy product. Um, as a machinist, Gene uh, appreciated what machinists, what users wanted in a product, and uh, he made sure to develop a product that met their needs. A uh, sturdy product, a lot of power, um, relatively simple design, easy to service, and uh, probably most importantly, very cost effective. And that product was introduced at IMTS in 1988. From the start, Haas is focused on providing operating efficiencies that ensure the highest levels of performance, and in many cases, level the playing field in showcasing the innovative spirit of U.S. manufacturing. Although the company first made waves at IMTS 88, Haas was actually founded in 1983. Gene Haas used his engineering prowess and background in machine tools to produce the first fully automatic, programmable collet indexer and positioning parts for more accurate machining. The success of the indexer led to fully programmable rotary tables, rotary indexers, and other machine tool accessories. However, the VF1 put Haas on the map, and it didn't take the company long to outgrow two different facilities. The company currently operates out of a five-building campus that comprises 1.1 million square feet of design, production, inventory, and distribution space. Showcasing the extent of their investment in U.S. manufacturing and production technology has become as much a selling point as the products themselves. The Oxnard, California headquarters builds over 1,300 vertical and horizontal machining centers, CNC lathes, five-axis machining centers, and other specialty machines every month, and bringing in revenues exceeding $1.2 billion annually. And while manufacturing in the United States, and California in particular, is not the least expensive option, the company continues to grow and expand. Building in the United States is difficult. Um, maybe building products here in California is even more difficult. Um, this isn't a low cost place to live, um, and uh, it certainly does create a few challenges, but it's, it, it's, the reason we're here is because this was home. This is where we all started out. I think what it's really done is, is it's, it's forced us to learn how to be really, really efficient. If we can build products here, if we can learn how to, how to operate efficiently enough to build products in California and ship them all over the world and sell them cost effectively, uh, you know, competitively to products built in, in other countries, I think that's saying a lot for our ability to be efficient. It starts with our workforce. Our workforce certainly is uh, quite proud to be uh, building a product and selling it around the world. Uh, and uh, our customers, I think, feel the same way. I think our customers have a, a real sense of pride in the fact that they're, uh, they, they have a Haas machine, it's an American-built product, uh, and uh, they're, they're helping to uh, give back to the U.S. economy. From day one, Gene Haas, who is still heavily involved in the day-to-day -day operations, insisted that his equipment be as easy to use as possible. The thought being that machines will be used by operators and programmers, not engineers. We have just constant dialogue here about how to, for example, improve the designs of our products, how to simplify the designs of our products how to improve and simplify the flow through the factory, how to improve and simplify the distribution process. I mean, every part of this business is uh, scrutinized for efficiency. The company's experience and focus on staying close to the end user helps them understand the need machine shops have to move quickly in getting and keeping their equipment in operation. 
It's a mantra that bleeds into their internal operations as well, including the more than 200 pieces of Haas machinery used every day on their own plant floor. Building a product and being able to test that product here in our own operation gives us an insight into that product that you just don't get normally until you have quite a few of them out in the field in customers' hands. So it's uh, kind of dual purpose. One, the ability to, to uh, test and to do some R&D on something before it becomes official. Uh, and two, um, we certainly love to have our brand all over the factory. The company is also constantly adding and upgrading its equipment to ensure the latest in operational efficiency. Uh, for us, it's more of trying to find the right products and in some cases looking outside the traditional box of a vertical or a horizontal machining center or a churning center. Uh, and uh, we've come up, uh, for example, with one of the probably most exciting and, and best products we developed in the last few years has been our line of universal machines, five axis machines that are relatively compact, very cost effective, um, and also in loading uh, devices. We have an automatic parts loader that we're, a new, a new product that we're developing, an automatic parts loader. Um, we're looking at much bigger and much smaller machines, trying to push the envelope a little bit uh, to provide a, a broader set of products for our customers. What we're best at doing is taking a, a technology and improving it and making it more efficient, at least as far as the uh, production and distribution and sales side of it. So, uh, you know, some people are looking at uh, 3D printing, for example, as the, the newest technology, but that's a pretty volatile market still. Uh, I think things are still sorting out, technology is still developing. At some point, who knows, maybe we'll get involved in that, but today I think we're content to stick with improving the products you see around you here today. Internally, this focus on efficiency flows into integrating technology like barcoding for tracing materials and work orders down to the assembly level. Assemblers also have access to instructions on mobile devices to help ensure higher levels of quality. Haas also manufactures their own controls and sources common motion control components, cabinets, tool changers, and lubrications for all of their machines to help streamline supply chain, assembly, and service functions. All of these lean approaches have been vital in maintaining the cornerstone of Haas automation success, value. Dedication to this principle has led to the latest version of the VF1 actually selling for less than when it was rolled out to such fanfare more than 30 years ago. Well, you know, I think a market share exceeding 50% tells you a lot. Um, it certainly isn't 100%, there are, you know, you're not going to find everybody uh, uh, believing this, but a, a huge portion of that population of machinists and uh, uh, factory workers responsible for machining processes, I think, b um, believe that Haas is the best value product on the market today. We hear that over and over and over again, but that's what Gene's effort was from the very beginning, is to deliver the most value at a cost-effective price. So I think we've done that and people, that's where I think we're positioned so well, is people see us as the value leader. These efficiencies allow the company to grow and expand their global reach without transplanting any manufacturing outside of the U.S. Eventually we started thinking about markets outside um, as we realized there was a, a limit to what we could sell here locally. Um, in the early days, that was, uh, that was very difficult. Um, we've built quite a, a strong network in recent years internationally. We have a, a sales and distribution facility in uh, Belgium today that handles, uh, represents the entire European continent. Uh, and we have the same thing in China as well, in Shanghai. Um, that e e export market today is more than 50% of our sales. Uh, and, and it makes sense because uh, domestically, as we exceed 50% market share here, it's going to be harder and harder to grow ourselves in this market. So that growth overseas is, is, is really crucial to our growth as a company. For uh, ever since we've been doing this, the Japanese have sort of been the standard. Um, and, um, and maybe in a way we've kind of turned it around. I think in the early days when Americans built products, the Japanese came along and they, they learned how to how to duplicate and then improve that. Um, I think to some degree we've done that. I think uh, Gene and the engineering group has done a very good job of uh, maybe emulating and learning from and even improving um, some of those processes. In keeping with the company's history of bold moves, it recently launched the first American F1 racing team in more than 30 years as a way to promote the brand globally. Racing's an interesting thing. Gene certainly is motivated. He, he loves racing, but 
racing uh, uh, has been um, pretty good at helping us to grow our brand. Uh, domestically, NASCAR, we started in NASCAR many years ago, probably more than 10 years ago now. Um, and uh, that's helped us to kind of strengthen and solidify our position here in the United States. Um, but the, really the biggest development in racing is, was just a few years ago when we announced that Haas, Gene Haas and Haas uh, Formula One team would be formed as the first American Formula One team in more than 30 years. Um, and the, the reason for Formula One is that international market that I mentioned that's uh, significantly less than the 50% market share that we have here in the United States. The need to grow that market share internationally is benefited greatly through Formula One. Formula One is so widely accepted and so popular in other countries, U.S. as well, but even more so in Europe and Asia and uh, Latin America, for example. The continued demand for Haas machines, both in the U.S. and internationally, has also led to the company announcing plans for the construction of a 2 million square foot facility in Henderson, Nevada. As we travel the country and discuss the dynamic of American manufacturing, the Made in the USA label seems to resonate differently from company to company. For some, it's not only a tremendous source of pride, but demands a combination of strategies to ensure production remains in America. For others, it's simply part of a structural DNA that can't be changed. We put a lot of effort into workforce. That's a very important topic. Um, and the reason, of course, is, is, is uh, that if we don't, we're not going to have the workforce to keep industry, to, to ensure that industry remains strong in the United States. Um, so uh, our efforts locally, uh, as well as uh, supporting uh, the system across the country, is, uh, is kind of built around the, for the most part, the community college systems, the technical schools, high schools to some degree as feeders for those programs, universities for engineering uh, expertise, uh, more so surrounding the manufacturing processes. Uh, but we've developed a network um, that network is called HTECH, uh, Haas Technical Education Centers. And those HTECHs are in about 3,000 schools around the world, more than 2,000 here in the United States. We ensure that those schools have the right products uh, in CNC and related to teach students the skills that they need. Um, it also includes an effort by a sister company, uh, the Gene Haas Foundation, to provide scholarship money to schools that have uh, either want to build a manufacturing program or have a manufacturing program and need to help pay the costs of students uh, or uh, miscellaneous uh, costs of, of maintaining their programs. So despite challenges from tariffs, government regulations, or a skills gap, and just as value, efficiency, and innovation continue to flow through all they do, so does the desire to have Haas machines continue to be made in America.